Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is your instructor Asma Mushtaq from the WY Vibes and in today's lecture I am going to explain what are the diode switching circuits. Basically the diode switching circuits are the circuits that have the input of the form of a pulse square pulsating square waveform where the zero voltage refers to the off state and plus 5 volt voltage refers to the on state and obviously in such types of the circuits we perform the switching of the different devices through the diodes generally speaking the diode switching circuits are designed by connecting a supply voltage through a resistor r to the parallel combination of the diode where they are connected at a common junction or a, at a common point so you can see clearly in this simple switching circuit i am actually connecting three diodes in parallel and the their anodes are common this common point is actually the point at which we will be calculating our output voltages with respect to the ground potential and here a b and c are called the input of the circuitry okay now let's see how this circuit actually works so let's say if we connect vs is equal to 10 volt and all the inputs a b and c are equal to plus 5 volt so we will see what happens or how this circuit behaves fine so since all inputs are equal so a node to cathode potential across each diode is same and this is calculated as the potential at the anode point which is equal to approximately 10 volt minus the potential at the cathode point which is actually plus 5 volt and it will result into plus 5 volt across each diode which is connected in parallel so that's why we can say that all these diodes will conduct at a same point since equal potential is existing across their terminals or across anode and the cathode point we can replace this diode with an ideal diode model where we assume zero voltage drop across this fine or in other case if you want to consider it as a practical diode model you will be replacing it with the 0.7 voltage battery in case of the silicon or 0.3 volts in case of the germanium so you can see the equivalent circuit can be drawn like that here this is actually representing a closed switch and we can measure the output voltages with respect to ground at this point since in case of the ideal diode it is actually the short circuit or if i do draw it like that i can say here is the plus vss source voltages and then here is the resistor after the resistor you can see there is a closed switch which is actually having zero voltage drop across it and then there is a plus 5 volt board battery connected at the input terminals fine so since all are connected in parallel they all will have equal voltages at the output terminal and this is equal to plus 5 volt in case of the ideal diode okay so output will come out to be approximately plus 5 volt fine so we can see we will be getting 5 voltage at the output terminal but if we consider the practical diode model we will have to replace this closed switch with the 0.7 volt battery and uh, you can draw the equivalent circuit like i am drawing right here 
uh, you will be replacing it plus 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.7 volt battery and then there is the plus 5 voltages at the input terminal and then we have the ground fine so this was actually 10 volt here was the resistor r and we are taking output from this point where positive terminal is shown for the anode terminal and the negative terminal of the battery is shown for the cathode terminal and you can see you will have 0.7 voltages then plus 5 volt input and since they are connected in series so voltages are added in the series connection and at the output terminal you will be getting 5.7 volt in case of the practical diode so this was the case when all inputs are same now let's consider an other scenario where only input a is equal to 5 volt while or where input a is equal to 0 volt while b and c both are equal to 5 volt and we will see what will happen for this combination of the input for the simplest understanding we actually make sure the diode conducts when the maximum potential difference exists or the current will always take the path where the maximum potential difference is existing so if you take the potential difference for the input a which is actually 0 volt then anode to cathode potential is for a is equal to 0 volt anode to cathode potential is is equal to 10 volt minus 0 volt which is equal to 10 volt and similarly for the inputs B and C the potential difference from anode to cathode is actually equal to 10 volt minus 5 volt which is actually equal to 5 volt as we know that according to the law of the conduction current always takes that path where the maximum potential difference exists so what will happen in that case current will take all its path through the diode which is having the input a is equal to 0 volt and in that case we can replace this circuitry like here it will be taking this path this diode will be actually short circuited and then you can see here is the input which is actually grounded or 0 volt and the, for the rest of the diodes you can guess that when this diode actually conducts we know that V out at this point will be equal to what anode potential to cathode potential and since the cathode is actually grounded which means A input is equal to 0 volt so that's why we will have the output voltages in case of the ideal diode 0 volt or in case of the silicon diode we will have 0 0.7 volt okay and because of this output voltages being established at this terminal at the output terminal uh, since the diode if I do call it diode D2 which is corresponding to input B then we can say that the anode terminal is actually held at the 0 volt while the cathode terminal is actually held at plus 5 volt and same is true for the diode which is connected across the input terminal C all right so for the diodes D2 and D3 we can say that after taking after the conduction is taking place both anode terminals are held at the 0 volt and both terminals at the cathode are held at plus 5 volts that's why so anode to cathode potential for these diodes d2 and d3 will be 0 minus 5 volt which is equal to negative 5 volts so these two diodes will act as an open switch and if I do draw its equivalent circuit, it will be like you have the source voltages, then the 
resistor and here we will have a closed switch for the diode D1 and here it, this terminal is grounded for the input A then we will have an open terminal for the input B and again an open switch for the input C okay and the output voltage is for such case is actually equal to V out is equal to 0 volt in case of ideal diode and V out is equal to 0 0.7 volt in case of the practical diode. Thank you for watching. I will explain the next part where we will tie up all the cathode terminals and then the anode terminals will be free for providing the input in the next part. Thank you for watching.